My name is Veronica DeSantos. Um, I own and operate a martial arts school called DeSantos Martial Arts Studio in Toronto. A team of 10 staff and um, a couple hundred students that I operate with on a full-time base. Um, I used to be a martial artist. I also competed on many teams representing Canada in a um, team. I also teach uh, um, anti-bullying workshops a lot in, it, in schools and in many different areas. Um, I find people who believe in the early age um, do tend to keep it unless they get help or they re come to some realization in life that wasn't the right thing to do, you know. So um, I find that, yeah, I find it, um, it translates to, to workplaces and when they get older I've seen it. Um, and I've seen in people that I teach and, I, and I, or I, um, I've met that I knew in the past and I observe their behavior is still the same. They haven't really come to some consciousness, you know, or have anybody say, hey, you know, that's not cool. And so then later on in their life, as they get older, they realize when someone stand up to them and say, you know what, that's not fair, you don't do that. And then sometimes they realize it. But I find it, it carries on. And I think bullying has a lot to do with confidence. Um, I find in the workplace when it comes to bullying, I find a person that's leading and bullying, they're not really confident in what they're doing, they weren't clear on what they're doing. And if you kind of know more than they, they get very defensive and it, and it clicks in, that, that, that feeling clicks in. That's how I feel sometimes. When, when a bully gets confident, it's double trouble. Yeah. I call it. <laughs> So that's what I find, it becomes double trouble. You know, a person who's confident and, and bully, people don't want to, they're, people get sick more at work, they don't want to, you know, they're, they're more scared. You, the performance are not at best. A, a good leader will have great performance after the, without asking all the time. He, he or she will say, you know what, this is, they motivate you, they want to motivate you to, to bring out the best in you. I find a person who's um, a confident bully, you work on a more of a, um, a scared place, so you make more mistakes, you, you're nervous, and you, you, you're doing your work, but you're not sure. As an employee, I'm like, oh, am, am I doing it right? Am I going to please that? And so it's not a really good place to be, but you're not getting the best out of your people. People who are confident in their leadership, people want to follow them. You know, I want to be like that, right? I want to follow. And then you would not have to tell me, like, I want to do to please you. I want to do because you're a great leader. I want to contribute to that leadership. You know, if you have a leader that is, you know, understand and able to communicate to you when you are, uh, a great leader works from uh, being fair but firm. People bully someone for a reason. There's something happened in their lives. And some people bully because they are um, in a better place than someone else. And they feel they're it. You know, I have it all, and who are you, you know? So those are things when this reality hit people sometimes, right? Um, you know, just a different form of bullying, right? So classes is one way of bullying people, you know? I'm better class than you, and I can speak down to you. Those people sometimes don't change. They carry on, you know? Some people um, feel they have the total right to do whatever they want to because they're in a position. You know, those kind of things. But I did have, um, uh, I could say for a friend of mine who, when, it was in, when she was in school, she bullied people a lot because um, she got bullied from home. So she had no other way to translate that. And then as I got to know her, I didn't realize that was happening in life. But when, I, when she was young, I saw the sadness in her always. And then I didn't understand the sadness, but at school she becomes this person that don't mess with because it's the only other way she feel powered because she was getting confident in school and, no, and people come in her life. But I think over the years, as she got involved in what I do and being in the martial arts world, started to see differently. She started seeing that wasn't that was something that was happening, and started getting counseling and started being around positive people, talking about it. They realized, you know, I was I was really a bully at school, and I don't want to be there anymore. So I've seen that turn of a close friend of mine. So this different type of bullying, you know, and there's bullying because I was. Um, I'm from mix. My parents are mixed, you know. So I'm from India. My, my maiden name is Singh, and my mom is Gonzalo Polo. So it's a very mixture, which is so that was another level of bullying, right? So I was very um, from a young age. Get a lot of different kind of bullying. Mm -hmm. So um, didn't like it. So when people step into other people's space and not being nice, it's I could tell right now I'm getting all crazy about it. So that's why I'm very passionate about um, uh, this anti-bullying and uh, where I could take it and. And because when you get when you, when you're bullied, you, you your confidence is gone, frustration in your chest is in there. 
everything seems like a storm. You don't know what to say. What do I do? I'm crying now. And the bully likes that. The bully wants to see me cry. At workplace, when somebody's bullying you, you're worried about losing your job. You're crying when you can't even eat lunch. You can't, uh, you know, you can't focus to be, be a good employee. You know, so those all kind of work into that place. It's how your mentality is as a, as a person. What are your tolerances? How far you let people destroy you? And a lot of times if people are abusing us, I feel that we're letting them because we don't have the tools, we don't feel confident, whatever it is. I'm not saying it's wrong, that I'm gonna say it's, everybody have the right and wrong, but it's up to you how you let people, what is your value about people, people uh, treating you? What is it, what's your limit of people who abuse you in a, verbally or physically? How, how far do you go, how far do you say stop, back off? And the more I empower myself, the better I feel. You know, and then you, you, you don't just, the first time you probably say it, it's like, oh my God, I'm saying this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stop, why are you saying that to me? But when you start using it and start empowering you and you change your attitude about it and you change your, everything starts changing. Your physical starts changing, your, your eyes, your light up, and, and then it becomes more real. You know, to say, um, you got to kind of fake it till you make it. And that's true. It's not faking bad things. It's faking how you want to be. You want to be a confident person, you have to practice confident. You want to be a fast person, you got to practice fa being fast. You know, you want to be powerful, you got to practice powerful. You know, how you stand, how you breathe. And it's, it's a practice. You know, when I came here, I was sharing with my niece the other day that I remember I was in a bus in Ethiopia. I was coming in the same days. And I remember one person was really rude to me in the bus. And what they said to me was so rude. You know, I was younger, I was a different, so I didn't, from that day, I didn't speak much anymore because I, I felt that my, my words and what I was saying, I cut down speaking because of what they said to me. And I'm like, why am I letting that? That person has no bearing on me, but it takes years for you to realize. I was when my martial arts came in. I, I hooked up my martial arts and I want to be really good. You know, I became the top fighter in the country and then travel the world and empowering myself different way. You have to find which way it helped you in your life to, uh, you got to move your body a certain way to empower yourself. So people can say all the things we want to us, but it's us, us. What are you willing, how much are you willing to change, accepting your life or whatever. Mm -hmm. So role playing is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe in it because I had to do it a lot. I think the thing is wanting to change, wanting to be better, wanting to be successful, wanting to be, uh, you know, I choose. I'm doing it because I want to do it. I want people to stop bullying me. I want people to start treating me that way, you know. I think the wanting, the why or the want in your body, in your soul, that is what you want to do. And then when you say, you know what, that's my aha moment. I just hit my aha moment. So let's, that's going to change, but it'll take time and I'll get some help. I'll go to different places to get some help or listen more to more positive people or hang around more people the way I want to be. And that's... That's one of the things you could do. You, you teach people how you want to be treated, but not disrespect, not in disrespect telling them, hey, you should treat me this way. No, it's the way your mannerism, the way you speak to them, the way they communicate with how you respond back. And I think, yeah, you have to teach people how to treat you.